Dariel Yap, the director behind Ven Sentiments and created several Filipino movies and was once a respected film artist in his country. But after numbers of accusations and his biased distortion of history, we will be looking to Yap's recent controversies and how he went from a young aspiring director to being labeled as a pedophile. His earliest works is in the movie Hashtag Joable, being a director. Before that, the 30-year-old Yap was working on short films in, the, in his YouTube channel called Vin Sentiments. He never tapped into politics until the controversial 2022 of Philippine election. He is a proud follower of Bong Bong Marcos and an advocate speaker against the presidential candidate and former vice president Lenny Robredo. He will make a film about a character referenced to Lenny Robredo called Len Len Rose. The film is about a possessed Len Len calling it an exorcism. His sudden switch into political film certainly turned many people off. Dario Yap's insensitive and excessive appreciation to Bong Bong Marcos is clear as day, making several videos about the man. And this is where I make my first point of the video, distorting history. Bong Bong Marcos' campaign was riddled with trolls. <laughs> Binapanak banatan tayo ng Rappler. Eh, sabi ko, the only option that we have is social media. Kaya, June kami nag-concentrate. Kaya, nag-hire ako ng libo-libo na troll army. Ipapakilala ko sa inyo ang ating troll army. Can you please show yourself, Emerald, Franz, Gerald, tatlo yung troll army natin, tatlo. fake information, and piles of piles of historical distortion that Marcos' late father, who was also the dictator of the Philippines, Ferdinand Marcos. Ferdinand's full control of the Philippines government, after a martial law giving him full control of the country, led to one of the most darkest years of the country. Piles and piles of human rights abuse, constant entortionment of political enemies, and a failing economy only to be called a quote-unquote golden age. Dial Yap's recent work of Made in the Malkan is the story of the Marcos family escorted the Hawaiian to the edge of revolution. It has already been received received massive hate due to its, its character assassinating the president after Marcos, Cory Aquino, making her a cult-like figure, greedy and manipulating the people. When she has given remorse to the family, showed gratitude to him and was blamed for economic failures when she was only given six years to fix a two-decade problem. This hate was even further increased when the actors talked about how history is just all gossip, no opinionated, and that it has no evidence whatsoever. Daryl Yap, however, hasn't only had a problem with politics, it also is predatory behavior in Twitter. Daryl Yap was accused of grooming a 16-year-old boy back in May of 2022. While it was only accusations, unfortunately for him, he spilled his own cup. Back in 2016 to 2017, he posted tweets about how good tasting kids are. He first stated that the accuser only modified and twisted a few of the screenshots he sent in his prep in his version of the tale, and even threatened legal action to the Facebook user when he was addressed by the government's campaign against child predators. He was declared a persona non grata by the Kitchen City Council, being named in a hundred plus list of influencers of spreading fake news. An insensitive asshole and used his depressing trauma for excuses, and he's just a little weird when it comes to politics. Now what is going on with Dalgam now? Well, not really a lot. He's still in the mix of Made in Malacanang and nothing really is going on about his whole pedophilic allegation since it was all the way back two months ago. Well, let's just see in the future what can happen with Daryl Yap. Is he gonna get in jail? Is he just gonna ignore all of this? Is he gonna get scot free? Who knows? Nobody knows, but until now, anyway, uh, thank you for watching.